Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it is a Tuesday. You regulars know what that means. 50-50 chance we are getting free stuff from Epic Games, and this week we are in luck. We have three free game development assets, three of these for Unreal Engine, one of them also for the Unity Engine, and as we will see in just a moment, these can also be exported out to work in other game engines such as Godot. Uh, although I do have a bit of a mystery this week that hopefully you can help me solve. Uh, so this one right here, this is the uh, sewer, medieval sewer slash dungeon. And something about... Uh, repurposing a sewer as a dungeon strikes me as a bad idea unless of course you want all your prisoners to die when it rains uh but anyways you get an idea of what this asset is all about highly modular in nature by the way we also have a number of bundles going on they are all linked down below and guides on how you can export out from unreal engine to other engines are also available down below all right so this is the first asset i've also exported this one over to the godot game engine using unreal to godot and here you can see the results so this is obviously much different lighting, but same environment, pretty easy to get it out. Uh, now, one thing you're going to notice is, uh, okay, there it looks fine, there it looks fine. Look at the floor, right? So you got this strange banding or stretching on the floor, whereas over here, this floor works perfectly fine. Now, where this gets weird, so these are all made up of prefabs of floors, three different floor segments. This one, totally fine. This one, totally fine. This one, totally fine, but, when I make them, so when I make an instance of uh, this floor, so SM, uh, SM large floor, I can't spell. All right, so here we go. So this is one of the assets. I instantiate it into my scene, and you can see stretching and banding. Over here, nothing. Any idea why this is happening, I would love to know. But that's one of those things you're going to get. When you export out from one game engine to the other, there are going to be some things that you need to fix, like little textures here and there. Otherwise, it works pretty good, and you might as well be grabbing these things completely for free. All right, heading back over to Unreal Engine. What else do we have this month? Well, we have this one. This one is available for Unity as well. Uh, so this is a uh, cyber dog, which basically uh, is kind of like a normal dog with some like sci-fi trappings on top of it. So you can see... This guy, different texture sets available for it. These are all animated, by the way. So let's go ahead and check out set animation. So you can see the various different animations that are available here. We've got like um, playing dead or, or being dead, I guess. Uh, kind of a hit recoil. We got walking in various different angles, jumping. Uh, we got some uh, lunging, biting attack type animations and so on. So that is what you are dealing with here. Very straightforward asset. Again, available for both uh, Unity and Unreal Engine in this case. All these assets are up on the Fab Marketplace. We will look at that in just a second. And then finally, we have the Day by the Beach. Let's go ahead and load this one up. Now, when I looked at this one uh, earlier, it was very problematic. And I don't know if this is an, uh, an Unreal Engine. Uh, yeah, so there you see. It looked fine. And then it loads in this other setting. And then it's way over bloomed or oversaturated. So I think this might be an Unreal Engine, you know, five five and higher thing. But I, I don't know why it's so bloomed out. We'll go take a look at the overview and get an idea of the pieces that are involved. So it's like cliff faces and such, all modular, of course, things that you can use together to create a beachfront environment. And then of course we have a number of different sands. Now again, there there's a visual artifacting going on here. Probably temporal anti-aliasing. Temporal anti-aliasing is the root of all badness, it seems. Uh, and then you can see a number of different uh, rock surfaces and so on available here. So that is your final asset. Everything in this one is pretty straightforward in nature. So quick recap here. We have the Met Evil Sewer Dungeon, a great place to be until it rains. Again, modular in nature if you need to create uh, a sewer setting or I guess a dungeon setting. Uh, you can multitask with this one. Straightforward asset. Uh, and then on top of that, we have the sci-fi dog. Now, once again, this one is the one that's available for Unreal and Unity. You can tell right here which ones they are available for. The way this works, by the way, the price will be set down to zero. You can choose which version you want, uh, personal or professional. This is just tiered to the amount of money you've got. So you can get a cheaper version if you make less money. But since Epic Games are paying for it, hey, might as well get the pro version. It doesn't really make much of a difference. Uh, but come in here, pick the version you want, add it to cart. It should be zero dollars. You can see this one here is Unreal Engine. This one is available for both uh, Unreal Engine and Unity. It's, you can download it directly from Fab as a uh, Unity package that you import into your project. Uh, so this is a um, the sci-fi dog, four different skin sets, 25 animations, eight materials. Um, we've got emissive materials as well. 
So it gives you an idea of what this one is all about. And then finally, we have A Day by the Beach. Uh, this one should have looked like this. Again, I don't know why the, the rendering looks so weird in 5.5, uh, five, five, but I'm finding that more and more. Um, and then this one is, again... Uh, a collection of high quality scanned assets using RVT and ray tracing to create an extremely detailed sunset beach level, gorgeous sunset atmosphere. Straightforward, super simple to understand assets this week. So I'm curious, what do you think of this week's assets? By the way, once again, you can get these out into other game engines. All of the guides are available down below. And then on top of that, I told you earlier on, there are a number of bundles going on right now. That is still the case. So we have the Unreal Engine Asset Mega Bundle, which was launched on um, the Humble Bundle. Uh, this one is actually kind of interesting because this creator has never been there before. It's a bunch of real world environments. Uh, then we also have the ongoing Big Bang, Unreal and Unity Asset Bundle. Uh, I don't know how much longer this one's going to last, so it'll probably, I don't know if it's been renewed yet or not. Uh, this one is pretty fresh, uh, so again, there. And then we've got a bunch of Lurtest bundles over on Gumroad. Use the codes down below. So this one, I think, was SN70. It dropped 70 bucks off. All of these are like $39.99, $29.99 type thing with codes. So make sure you use the code at checkout so you don't have to pay the full price. Again, you see a number of different environments for Unreal Engine. They've also got this one still going on. Again, a number of environments. And then this one as well. This one has a bunch of different codes available. So ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, not this month, but I guess this by weeks free assets from Epic Games. Again, I just tell you, just keep hoarding these. Even if you're not using Unreal Engine, you could export them out to other engines potentially, or you may change your mind later on. They have given away tens of thousands of dollars in assets. So you've got to be hoarding these, even if you're not using them right now. But what do you think of this month's giveaways? Again, all of the relevant links are down below. Guides for other engines are down below, and a number of bundles are down below. You use my links. It does help support me, and thank you very much for doing so. All right, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think of this month's freebies? Let me know. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.